All right, what is going on, fellers? What is up? Yeah, I am staying up way too late. And I gotta work my ass off tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep up. I am dragging ass this uh, Christmas, slaving it hard. Fuck. Anyway, sorry, Jimmy. I haven't made those coasters yet. I, I fucking... I was gonna do them the other day, right? And, um... Is this too loud? Let me turn this shit down. Um, yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna make them yesterday, right? But I had to pull up the file on the computer, right? So I could upload it to the uh, machine. And I was gonna do it, and I couldn't find the fucking file. And I was like, what the fuck did I save it under? I typed in Halo, I typed in 8K, <laughs> I typed in Craig the Dumbass Brute, you know, all kinds of shit, right? I couldn't fucking figure it out. And <laughs> turns out my bro saved it, and he saved it under Stupid Halo Monkey. <laughs> no, I, I think it was Stupid Ugly Halo Monkey or something like that. So, anyway... Uh, I got the file, so I'll do it pretty soon here, and I'll show you. But that'll be fun. But, uh, yeah, I've been busting my ass, so I just gotta find the time to get it done. No big deal, I'll get it done soon, though. Uh, but yeah, hey, check out these sick guitars, yo. Look at this. My gold, uh, my gold, um, original 50s Strat body Aztec gold. Fucking pimping. Covered in fucking flaky, relicking sparkles, and oh my god, it's an all gold strat. It's beautiful. Has no strings on it, so I can't play it. I got a, I, I got a little work I got to do to it. So, still working on it. And then check this out. I got my fucking bass set up, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Look at that shit, dude. I call this bass the Battle Toad, dude. Fuck yeah. This is fucking cool fucking shit. Look at this fucking bass, dude. Fucking badass. You love that shit? Yeah. That's badass, right? Yeah, that, this bass is funky as fuck, dude. This is some kind of like 74 uh, punk funk slap bass 70s-ish kind of thing, you know? Yeah, it's fucking killer, dude. Installing it was such a fucking pain in my asshole, dude fucking it comes with like this big fat microchip thing this circuit board shit and you gotta find a way to stick it into the guitar and it was too fucking big to fit into this goddamn guitar i had to take a drill and like hollow out some area of wood on the inside so i could insert the chip and have that be in the guitar so that's what's in there and you have like an adhesive that you can use to keep it from jostling around in the guitar and that's what I did. And um, it was scary because uh, I fucking found out that bad news when it was a little too late after I soldered everything in and placed everything basically. So I was too lazy to remove that stuff and I was like, eh, I'll just drill around it. <laughs> it's all good. So yeah, I started drilling around in here and I fucked up. And I snagged the the cables connected to this pickup. I snagged them. They got all twined up around the uh, the drill bit. I was like, oh, fuck. And a lot of the uh, cable ripped, too. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't rip badly enough, I guess. And I just threw some uh, paint, uh, you know, electrical tape onto that shit. And, uh, yeah, fuck it. That's it. And it works good, dude. This bass is fucking pretty fun, dude. I like it. It's good. You feel like flea. That's what it's like. Pretty badass. So anyways, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the Zelda Strat. Pretty cool. This is how this is how you know it's a Zelda Strat. There, there you go. Very cool, huh? Yep. It's supposed to look all beat up and relic. Okay, guys? That's, uh, that's a thing with guitars. All right? Get used to it. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, what am I talking about here, um, oh yeah, this fucking game, dude, um, yeah, what is this shit, uh, I am tired, 
Dread, good old Metroid Dread. Yeah, check it out. Um, yeah, X Parasite, creepy, gross mother truckers here. Not cool, not cool. Yeah, but um, this game is pretty badass, I gotta say. Pretty sick intro and shit. Doing recap and artwork. This is badass, you know. This game's story is pretty sick. I dig it. <laughs> Look at that crazy shit. Fucking Samus is all fucking gross and shit. Got slimy shit on her. Look at that crap. Look at all this scientific shit. Oh man, she's all fucking gross. And weird looking. What the hell? Crazy, crazy. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this, guys? Look at this shit. Look at this shit, dude. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine? Oh my god. This game is woke trash, okay? Okay? It is. I can't, I can't play this. I can't. This is way too much feminism. You know? Like, I, I want to die after this. I'm such a fragile piece of shit that this makes me want to kill myself. Oh my god, this is too much. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, this game's fucking badass. Um, look at this shit. Look at that fucking horrible monster. Oh my god, the SAX, you fucking piece of shit. Crazy. Game's fucking badass. Samus has to deal with some fucked up shit. Uh-oh, or so we thought. What's going on here? Mysterious transmission. Oh no, one of those pieces of shit is still out there. It kind of looks like Flubber, right? You ever see Flubber? Uh, out in the wild. Okay. To a particular planet... Oh, shit. Oh, look at this. It's the Halo Combat Evolved intro, dude. They stole that shit from Halo. Fucking Samus, you fucking, fucking asshole. Stealing from Master Chief. What the fuck? All right. All right, so what happens? Oh, oh the seven EMMIs. Those robot pieces of shit. Fuck these guys, dude. Fuck these guys. These ugly ass fucking robots with spikes for heads. What is this shit? <laughs> Listen to that shit. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe. <laughs> I like how they say just like stuff. <laughs> like it's like not even like the 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 most rare and precious metals or or composite materials from all over the galaxy, I just no, it's the best stuff there is. Whatever, it's the best stuff. This game's fucking crazy. Yeah, I, I dig this game. Yeah, it got nominated for a game of the year. Yeah, it didn't win though. Uh, apparently, this co-op game that's actually pretty dope won. Can you believe it? Huh. I didn't see that one coming, but to be honest, I wasn't paying very much attention. I don't pay very much attention to gaming these days, because, like, uh, it's more depressing and depressing what's happening with gaming. Runaway corporate capitalist bullshit causing microtransaction games to ruin all the franchises. and uh, Yeah, everything's falling apart, you know. Look at, look at the new ca consoles, you know. Can you get them at a good deal? Not really, unless you're lucky or connected or whatever, but... Yeah, basically, if you want a serious Xbox, you need to pay, like, 900 bones. And if you want the, uh, you know, the PS5, that's uh, usually a little bit more expensive than a Siri serious X. So, you know, that sucks. 
And they're not even really worth getting, honestly, right now, anyway. Maybe when some decent must-haves come out on them. So basically what that means is the Series X is never going to be worth getting. And maybe PS5 will be worth getting in a year or two. Maybe after Zero Dawn 2 and uh, God of War 5 show up there, you know. That's, that's all I can say, you know. But what sucks, though, is those games are... They're probably going to be good and shit, but... Like, they're con probably going to not offer too much that's new, and they're definitely not new IPs, so that's not too impressive. Although, this year we got that Deathloop game, which I hear is really innovative and pretty cool in a lot of ways. Um, but I also heard it's not the greatest shooter. Like, a, a guy like me is not going to like it more than, like, Halo Combat Evolved, for example. Yeah, good old Halo... Yep. Um, but yeah, Halo Combat Evolved. That game, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like Deathloop more than that. But, you know, it's also a pretty different kind of shooter, but I, I don't want to talk about that. Um, yeah, it's time to continue talking about... Um, yeah, this pink controller is pretty sick. Uh <laughs> time to talk about um halo infinity and why it sucks yes um let's do that <laughs> yeah um the Fer fernando the pilot guy you know um he's all right he has some emotional moments in the game and his voice acting and motion capping is done pretty well sometimes it's a little jarring you know especially cortana cortana's model there is a little like quirky teeth like derp look kind of looking moment there but whatever you know it's not a big deal i'm just being a nitpicky asshole but uh, it's it's cool enough um uh yeah but you know i don't think i like these new characters like the weapon or uh the pilot i don't think i like them more than like sergeant johnson or you know captain keys or or the Arbiter, or uh, what's his name, Lord Hood, you know. No, uh, sorry. So that sucks. Uh, yeah, they did this like uh, Halo Logan thing, you know. Three four three. They love their you know superhero MCU stuff that they like to turn Halo into. So Master Chief is Logan. Yeah, they give him this kind of daddy persona, you know. Um. It, it it works okay, honestly. It's all right. I I don't hate it really. Um, let's see. Uh, the skimmers, skimmers, those new aliens, the endless. Uh, kind of a dumb name, but skimmers. That's an even dumber fucking name, dude. You know, you guys know what a skimmer is, right? You guys cook. You guys do any cooking? You guys know anything about cooking? Yeah, that that thing that only women are supposed to do, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, if, if you uh, actually cook, um, like a normal human fucking being, uh, you uh, would know that a skimmer is a thing that, like, scrapes the fucking gross-ass fucking fat and bubbly shit off the top of a stew or a curry or some shit, you know? Like, that's what skimming is. This name sucks. I'm not intimidated by the, the, the grease scraper, okay? Like, this is a stupid fucking name. So, yeah, um, I just thought that was funny. Um, um, yeah, uh, in the game, if you activate sprint and start moving about, if you notice in the, like, left and upper right corners and shit, uh, while you're sprinting, you see little wavy, like, wind lines <laughs> appearing to a degree. And I think it looks fucking stupid, and I think it's kind of jarring, and I wish they wouldn't do that. Uh, apparently, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure Halo 5 had a thing where, like, you had to see through the perspective of the Spartan that you're playing as through their visor, and there was, like, a border on the screen, which kind of made it, like, you know, like... Like, no, get that shit out of here. Maybe they did a patch where you could remove it? I don't know. 
that's the thing. We live in the patch patching days of gaming, at least, where they can fix a mistake. Sometimes they just fucking don't. Sometimes they fucking make things worse, but it is possible to fix shit, at least, after launch, you know, but anyway, um, yeah, apparently, like, the Halo campaign also needs the multiplayer to be downloaded for it to work simultaneously or something. I heard something like that. If that's true, that's fucking dumb. Uh, Chief, uh, yeah, um, to sum the game up, uh, the story, you know, Chief, he, he, uh, he kills a few nobody henchmen that are pretty meaningless, not very big characters, and he makes friends with the pilot and the weapon, and that's the, the story, really, you know? Well, I guess he ultimately kills the, uh, Harbinger, but... Harbinger really doesn't feel like much of a character in the fucking game, and there's not much to it. I don't know, and a part of the fight with the Harbinger kind of weirded me out, dude. Okay, there's a, there's basically like two parts from what I gather with the Harbinger. I could be wrong, but uh, where you actually fight her, and the first time Chief confronts her, she uh, hits him with like some kind of... Uh, blast from her hand or you know she has this ability to like teleport and dodge him and trick him and fake him out and she gets him and he goes flying through a tree you see the scene in the in the you know campaign trailers where he flies through the tree and whatnot and hits the ground and it looks all dramatic like it was really painful maybe and chief gets up in the game and just kind of wanders off and you go and do other mission stuff after this happens it's kind of weird man like you guys were fighting just now. You're you're gonna just not fight now, like, I, okay. And what's weird is she kind of like kicks him out of the forerunner building type structure that they're in, and it's it, it kind of reminded me of that Simpsons episode with uh, you know, uh, Homer where he uh, f gets abducted by the aliens and they uh, want to dress up as Bob Dole and Clinton, you know, and they fucking spray Homer with rum and they just kick him out of the uh, spaceship and they're just like, no one will believe your story, now don't come back. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's what happened to Chief, like Chief is Homer Simpson. It's, it's fucking weird, dude. That scene makes, like, not much sense. But whatever. Um... Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, uh, the campaign co-op, yeah, that shit might not show up until fucking, like, May, maybe later, and it's probably gonna be released with, like, some DLC bullshit, and I bet you when it launches, there's gonna be a lot of issues, and a lot of these things are gonna be bitched about and not fixed very quickly, I bet you, so that's pretty shit, um, it's 343, three, you know, they're pretty bad, <laughs> They're, a th they're about a 3 or a 4 out of 10 company a lot of the time. Although, I'll be fair, um, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, I give that like an 8 or a 9. I think 343 did a great job with that one. I'll give 343 mass credit with that one. I really liked it. Yes. Um, anyway. Um, let me think. What else sucks about this game? Yeah, uh, user scores on Metacritic are hovering around 6s to 8s, basically. Like, not the greatest numbers, you know? Like, Halo 1, it's basically like 8s and 9s and 10s, you know? Um... Yeah, I still feel like Atriox should have died against the Chief, and uh, that would have made, like, Eshram, like, really pissed off and trying to get revenge for his fallen comrade there. You know, I think that would have been cool, have, like, a seriously emotional motivation to get the Chief, you know, this, this crazy brute character. Yeah, I think that would have had more weight to it and made it, would have made it more, like, scary, I, if, if you know what I mean, kind of, I think they should have done something like that, I think that would have been better, because, you know, 343's been making the Chief look like a bitch, 
I'm sorry, but that's the truth, right? What happens in Halo 4? He's, like, powerless against the Didact. He needs Cortana's help big time, and she's lost in the process, and it's emotional and sad and lame. Fucking, that sucks what happens to Chief, you know? <coughs> and then in Halo 5, he's a side character, and Locke takes the forefront, you know? It's kind of lame, you know? And he still doesn't get Cortana back, and it's actually worse than that. Cortana has this dumbass Rise of the Machines Terminator storyline. And she's the villain. And it's like, oh my god, okay. Kind of lazy writing, but whatever. So they don't do the Chief very good. So I think, I think it would have been awesome for them to show the Chief come back <coughs> and just uh, straight dominate, you know? And kick the shit out of this Atriox guy. That would have been better, if you ask me. I think they could have worked with that better. But whatever. No big deal. No big deal. There's all kinds of cool ways you can do a story. <coughs> yeah, the Endless. They look dumb. I don't like the way they look. Um, and how are they worse than the Flood? They don't really feel worse, honestly. Um, yeah, uh, Fernando, uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny, right, that he's Hispanic, and it's revealed that he just stole the pelican, he's just a, <laughs> a, a thieving brown skin person, oh my goodness, <coughs> <coughs> what a bad look, 343, <coughs> <coughs> I am losing my voice. It's super late. I, I should probably go to bed soon, yeah. And, uh... My goodness, I still have more crap to talk about in regards to this crap game, but... I guess I'll finish it some other time. I am losing my voice, and... <clears throat> uh, yeah, I am overworked, and I should definitely get some rest. So, cool shit. I guess I'll have to do a part three of this goddamn game. <laughs> It's fun to talk shit about these kinds of games, but whatever, you know, whatever. Like I said, though, it's 343, three, which is funny because those numbers, right? 3 and 4, you know. 3, three out of 10, 4 out of 10, right? <laughs> That's usually what I end up giving these uh, goddamn 343 three Halo games for the most part. Oh, well. I don't know. What, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Oh, and I, I, uh, I heard uh, grenade jumping is out. Grenade jumping is out of the game, yeah. Uh, is, if that's true, then that's fucking lame. Um, but whatever, they got the grapple hook, so I guess that doesn't really matter if you can grenade jump anymore, kind of, sort of, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that would have been funny if, like, if, like, uh, Chief when he finds out that the pilot is just a thief instead of an actual soldier. That would have been funny if, like, Chief was like, oh, well, I was trained to uh, kill rebel scum like you, so uh, you have to die now. And then, pow, he just fucking kills him. That, that would be fucking funny, dude. But, whatever. I'm just being ridiculous. Um, yeah, I heard the vehicles in the campaign can be kind of problematic. I heard that the hog flips on a fucking pedal, but the, the chopper can't get over a fucking, like, tiny rock. <laughs> so, okay. <coughs> yeah, and Chief, of course, has, uh, you know, the grapple hook from Batman. Because Chief is Batman, because 343 wants to make, you know, Halo into superhero shit. Yep, and the vil the villains three four three introduces they're all like evil wizards with gravity powers, right? Kind of like MCU villains, right? Jesus Christ! Yeah, uh, ninety percent of the cutscenes are, are uh, you know Chief talking to fake Cortana, you know. Um, that's a thing. That is pretty pretty true about the game, but. I don't, I don't know, she's got the, she, her name's the weapon, at the end of the game she, I guess, is gonna be called Cortana, or New Cortana, whatever the fuck, uh, I, I feel like calling her Cortina, you know, and, uh, I forget the pilot's name, you know, 
Um, fucking my bro was all like, just call him M- Miguel Sanchez. And I was like, what the fuck? Miguel Sanchez, what the fuck, dude? Alright, so yeah, Miguel Sanchez and Cortina are the the two new friends that Chief makes in the game. And their uh, character performances emotionally and performatively are really good. And they do a great job. And uh, yeah, bravo to the voice actors of this game. They killed it. They They always do a fucking good job in Halo, honestly, though. So good stuff, good stuff. It's the writing that's ass some of the time. And with 343, you can you can bet it's usually going to be ass. And it is, unfortunately, with uh, Halo Infinite. The writing is pretty bad. It really is a game that's trying to... Like I said, nothing really happens. It's just... he Chief kills some minor henchmen and makes two friends. <laughs> no, no, like, major war tide shifts or changes, really, like... No, dude, it's just sort of a rushed, unfinished game that has a lot of problems and crap. Like, that's the truth. We know it to be true. 343 even admits it to be true. COVID happened, which made things even worse. Like, and they already sucked at making video games. You you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, so... That's a thing. Yeah, um... Yeah, uh, Xbox One players, they get crapped on. The game doesn't run good for shit. (laughs) Uh, PC players, they deal with more glitches and cheaters, so they get pretty fucked over here. And if you got a Series X, uh, you're either a lucky dude who got a good deal or whatever, or you have to pay close to $800 to $1,000-ish, maybe $700 if you're lucky, for for that thing, because of scalpers right now, so... Like, that fucking sucks dick, dude. (laughs) Like, getting access to Halo Infinite kind of blows. And the best way to do it is probably on the Sirius X, but like I said, because of the console's kind of hard to get at a a good deal, like, it's kind of shitty. So, but even the Sirius X model, the good old Sirius X box there, uh, so serial, it, um... What was I saying? I'm sorry, I'm tired, guys. Uh, the Serial Xbox, it... Man, I need a drink. Ooh, I am tired. I am sleepy. Can't think, can't concentrate, can't remember. What the fuck was I talking about? My goodness. What is wrong with me? Think, think, think. Why is your brain not working? Yeah, I've been up way too late. Um, But yeah. uh, It's kind of weird that cheaters are already in the Halo game here. You know, we already got cheaters in Halo Infinite. Like, damn, that was quick. Like, I remember in Halo 3, I would never run into cheaters for at least the first two years that that game was out. Yeah, I remember going back to it after playing ODST, you know, and no, no, no cheaters, really. It's fine. So, yeah, lame. But, yeah, my point, my point earlier was that, yeah, Xbox One, Sirius X, or PC, you kind of get fucked. Either, either one of them are kind of, you kind of get fucked if you jump into Halo Infinite on any of these three platforms you get kind of fucked that's just what what's up man that's what it is mm. um, it was funny dude uh, there was a guy who uh, was complaining that uh, the game looks like shit on his PC and he was, uh, and people were questioning him about what his specs were. And he has a pretty good uh, portable laptop that should have been able to run the game pretty good for the most part. And uh, they got to the bottom of it. He told them, "Yeah, the indoor areas look great, but the outdoor areas look like shit." You know, and they were just like, "Oh wait, no, that's just how the game looks, bro." <laughs> that's fucking crazy, right? 
Oh man. Yeah, sorry if I'm repeating myself, guys. I'm I'm tired and uh, trying to concentrate here. I'm trying to remember all of the things that suck about this fucking game. Um. <coughs> Yeah, uh, Cortana basically dies off screen somewhere, basically, you know, a few other characters, I guess, too, maybe Palmer, I don't know, what the fuck, story is really not good, and you kind of can't blame Infinite too much in the story department, because of Halo 5, its story is really shit, so, like, but then you remember that 343, you know, are responsible, so it's kind of like... God damn it. Can we get someone else to make the, the Halo games? <laughs> you, you know? Like, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess Atriox was killed off screen, but then in the end credits, he's there, or a brute that looks just like him or something. I don't know. There's a lot of people saying weird shit. Don't really care, because, you know... The Halo storyline has sucked under 343 for the most part for too long, you know? So, <coughs> I don't really give a shit. Sorry. Um, yeah, Far Cry Halo, open world. Yeah, it's funny, I saw some 343 fanboys going, uh, It's not open world, it's open sandbox. It's like, what, what the fuck does that mean? Is fucking discount open world? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Alright. And Oh, you can't replay missions? That's pretty shit, right? Because in just about every Halo game, even the ones you don't like very much, there's always, like, those, like, one or two or three missions that are always... Eh, they got some really cool moment, at least, you know? Like, surely not everything about said Halo game is terrible. Surely you can find one part of the campaign that you really thought was cool, right? Well, you can't replay the missions, unfortunately. So I, uh, like I don't. I what the fuck? Three, four, three. Are you guys mental? I'm like weird, man. Anyways, I, I'm tired, guys. I'm gonna crash here. I'm gonna do a part three because there's just so much to talk about. I mean, this fucking game blows, and I keep learning new things about it. Sucking ass. You know, like crazy yeah but oh i was gonna say there's the halo show coming out um i actually kind of have high hopes for that because they're gonna do the story in a way that's different they're not gonna copy 343's halo story bullshit and they're not gonna do a bungee halo storyline bolt thing they're going to um just kind of reboot and start from scratch like a real reboot not like halo infinite that kind of reboot not so much reboot or so-called spiritual reboot no they're gonna like its own timeline shit or whatever so i don't know i bet you it'll still suck because i know 343 sucks and everything and they tarnished halo so much that it's kind of hard to look at halo in a positive light you know but but they got some decent actors and shit you know and i dig that and i bet you it'll be pretty good in a lot of ways at least but, yeah, um, guess what? I heard, like, a woman of color is going to be Cortana in this thing, or at least her, like, visual body or something like that in the, in the, in the show. Yeah, uh, that might, that might piss off those alt-right kids, you know? That's woke shit, right? We can't have that in Halo. Yeah, I saw some uh, chud cells um, fucking crying like little bitches, you know. Oh my god, they're gonna, they're gonna make it woke. They're gonna ask Chief what his gender pre preferences and pronouns are. And, like, oh my god, you guys are so weird and creepy. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, this is what sucks. Like... I complain about what actually sucks about Halo, and then there's these weirdos who say shit like this, and, like, oh god, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, I'm going to bed now, for reals, 
and I'll do another video maybe tomorrow, hopefully, but I'll probably be really tired. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, uh, yeah, take care of each other the best you can. No one's perfect, but try your best. Um, sorry if I repeated myself in this video or got something wrong or somewhat inaccurate or <coughs> I completely fucked up, I don't know, whatever. Um, you know, uh, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry, I mean well. And, uh, yeah, I am very tired, but, yeah, maybe there'll be a part four because there's so much to, to, to make fun of about Halo Infinite. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, 343 fanboy weirdos. Don't get me wrong. There's some good things about Halo Infinite, okay? It's just mostly bad, that's all. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, I'm going to bed. I'll see you later.